Welcome to Trade Doc, the Theta Options Trader, where we look at today's close, check out the futures, and scan through our ETF watch list that are four hour charts. Spot opportunity. Today is November 7th, 2016, and the markets had a big day with the Dow up 370 points, NASDAQ up 120, and the SP up 45. Um, elections tomorrow so there's a lot of volatility in the markets and the futures are up with the Dow up another 10 points to be at 18200 majors are up especially the Russell up two and a half percent in the after hours or in the futures um, the VIX is up Crude oil, natural gas is up, uh, gold and silver is up, and copper is up, the dollar is pretty much unchanged, and the pound is holding 124. The charts, crude oil, the four hour charts, had it move up about 2% going back into our our channel here no more positions added to crude gold oil explorers we came up back to trade in this channel range see if we can make it up to this trend line or this one before we put another short on there uh, natural gas came up trading in that range but still below its 20 day moving average we got some buy signals here you can act upon Gold was down today almost 2%, coming up a little bit in the after hours, holding that turn line in the mid middle of that channel. We got gold miners, and we did buy some in the after hours just because of this trend line here. We gotta go do this trend line or break above this channel. So we're looking for the miners to either have a big move down where we just break the break even on this, or continue to trade between these two trend lines silver was down about a one percent not as bad as gold no position is just hugging it's closed below its 20 day moving average so no position on there it could move lower or higher energy move had a move up of 2.15 percent and it's trading in the middle of the channel just like we thought so we got our iron condor right in that square utilities moved up almost two percent looking to keep it underneath this trend line if it breaks above then we'll find a new support support level for it industrials they moved right up from our buy here yeah, we'd, we'd like to put a sell, uh, a sell on there for tomorrow. So seeing it live, this is the sell because we want to have um, a spread in this range here. Well, well, we'd like to have it in this range. So we expect it to trade just inside there. Material sector had a move up. So now it does it kind of looks like a flag breakout. Yeah, there it is there. So you see this breakout here. And it's moving above, so we're gonna put unfortunately it's gonna be another buy on that one. So this is kind of just some back and forth action. Right there. Usually, when it breaks out of the channel, it'll trade in this range here. This range, this is the range I expected to trade in, about right around there. So, 
once it finishes this consolidation it should move back down and put another cell on it right now we're just even keeping uh, neutral deltas on there we got the healthcare sector moving back inside the channel so we expect this to keep on trading up um, real estate coming down unless it breaks this this uh, channel here uh, we're gonna keep our short verticals same here with the home builders they have this trend line looks like they stopped right at it so unless they break it which I would like to put another cell on it another cell on there just because it's at that range so it's a cell on the home builders okay. retail could have had a buy on there but we're still good with this long but now that it's moved up we wanted to hit the bottom of this before it comes back down the S&P had a big move today trading back in our range here so we want to see this come back down after it touches this uh, the bottom of this uh, resistance now that used to be support and this is supposed to be just the VIX not you VIX so on the VIX you know, he had a little bit of uh, short positions I mean um, new po neutral positions here and still neutralized with the SUVX I mean SVXY which is the short which is the inverse of the VIX triple leverage so we do have some long positions because that's how that's the way we neutralize this trade anyways this was a video was pretty quick I hope you enjoy and I'm not gonna go on with anything else but I did notice that oh here it is I don't know why it's in that order usually I have the VIX last but here's the cubes I knew it, there was more symbols to go through so the cubes went up and we do have an iron condor in that range here between these um, here's the Russell that's moving up trying to make way to the bottom of this trend line and then we should see another move down immersion markets came back up it's going to be trading this range and we have a nice um, calendar right there this is Japan I did have uh, some trend lines but now they're not there China had a move up right to the middle of our range and I still haven't put no short on it but uh, I will once it gets into this the middle and India which I wish I would have had to put a buy on there because we did have one and this is a lot of volume so on India we're gonna wait a couple days to get a good position Russia we are short Russia so we've been short Russia since Brexit and uh, no lie, but I'd like to put a short somewhere and I'll set that up some other time with a minute left the Eurozone trading back up to the bottom of that resistance and it actually closed above its 20 day moving average today the British pound came down a little bit and we still have our long position on it so that's working fine and make sure it doesn't break this trend line the US dollar came up had a buy signal on it so you can hold that for a while bonds are down about a percent and here's the VIX so this is where we had it and I did buy just because it's um, just because it's elections we want to be a little longer and that's alright 
only like 30 deltas long on the VIX at this point. Made plenty of profit right here, about you know roughly about five to six percent of the position. So thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.